Hello fellow lovely fragrance lovers. So I finally got my hands on Midnight Fantasy. I had to go pick up a prescription from Boots Pharmacy and they had this on sale for £10. So I picked it up. I liked the Fantasy, the original pink one. So just going to unbox this and try it and give you my first impressions of Midnight Fantasy. I have to say the box is really nice. I quite like the colors. So just based on the colors alone, I'm expecting this to be a deep sensual fragrance. Whereas the pink one was very bubblegum bubble gum poppy. This is so adorable. So adorable. Look at that. Let's just get some light. Oh, I love this. So, so, so adorable. Okay, let's try this on. I have never seen anything cuter, honestly. I think that these are so adorable. And these speak to my inner child so much, these cute little things. These are the sort of things that I would have loved to have as a kid, you know, just <laughs> like to have. Um, so this is supposed to have plum, uh, sour cherry, and raspberry as the top notes. So I'm kind of getting the dark vibe that they have going here because they've got some dark fruits and then we have orchid iris and freesia will be interesting and the base notes of vanilla amber and musk i think it's very hard to go wrong with those three base notes so let's try some of this mm. okay okay Okay, we're going to try this. So, okay. Oop. Oh, uh, okay. The atomizer, this is hard to control. For something so small, this is quite hard to control. But what have we got? Mm -mm -mm. You know the super sweet tropical juice? The one that would come in a carton and it would have pictures of like, you know, tropical fruit. That's what I'm getting. Like I could drink this. <laughs> mm. um, also reminded of shampoos, you know, the tropical thingy shampoos. It's definitely deeper than uh, the bubblegum pop of the original fantasy, um, I think. But it's not unpleasant. Perhaps I was expecting a little bit too much of it. But um, I probably should have managed my expectations a little bit. But yeah, very tropically. Very, very tropically. I can't say I'm getting the plum in it. And I think it's because the very first fragrance that I ever tried that had like a, a strong plum nest to it was Marc Jacobs Decadence and that had a very strong plum scent for me especially when I had it on my skin and to date I haven't really found a fragrance that has the plum -ness. Um but I have a plum tree uh, so perhaps it smells differently but yeah, this it's it's lovely. I think it's an inoffensive fragrance. I think it doesn't smell particularly unique um, in the sense that I don't feel like, oh my days, I've never smelled anything like this before. Um, as far as the celebrity perfumes, I think the one that I smelled that was unlike any of the other celebrity uh, perfumes was uh, Stash SJP, which, yeah, that that's completely completely different I, and I think if I didn't know that there's such a thing as celebrity perfumes and I was just being made to smell the celebrity perfumes I'd think that most of them came from one company but then the stash I would think that that was a completely different company because it smells so different but this is um it's lovely. I can see myself wearing this uh during the day. I don't think I would reach for it if I've got if I want to feel special 
if I want to feel, you know, like really, really special, if I really want to feel myself, I think that this would be a good daily fragrance for the days that I'm at home, I'm cleaning, I'm running errands and I'm doing stuff and I'm not particular. I just want to smell lovely, but I'm not particularly bothered about smelling and feeling amazing. But I love the bottle though. I absolutely love the bottle. And I'm probably going to collect most of the Britney Spears fantasy lines simply because of the bottles. And my kids love the bottle as well. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so that's my first impressions of uh, Midnight Fantasy. I picked it up for £10 from Boots, which I think I probably paid too much for it. But never mind, it was there. I was waiting in line and I picked it up and I was able to fulfill the fantasy of trying Midnight Fantasy. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, uh, that was a pun. <laughs> so please do subscribe. I'm crazy, 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 crazy about perfumes and join along my perfume fragrance journey. Lots of unboxings, lots of discussions about perfumes, lots of talking about scents and fragrances and comparing to how a, a plum in fragrances smells different to plums in real life and things like that. Because that's that's what's been fascinating me quite a lot about this whole perfume journey. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye.